And apparently the word came on from, from the coaching box to the, the players that drop goal was the option. And um, TJ Perinara, the scrum half, has said they were presented with the picture of a four on two on the outside. And they, they reckon there's more moving parts in a drop goal than there is in a four on two. They backed themselves and it didn't come off. There was a, a knock on. I think Ireland would have gone for a drop goal. I think most teams would have gone for a drop goal. I think most teams would have nailed a drop goal. And it's probably indicative of the fact that New Zealand and even New Zealand Super Rugby franchises don't find themselves in that situation very often. And I think it's probably it's probably something that they'll, they may look back on in, in 12 months' time and say, you know, that they'll learn from. A bit like the Lions test last year, you know, they're, it's not a bad time to lose. They're probably going to win the Rugby Championship anyway. Losing at home maybe isn't a, it's not a bad time to get a kick in the teeth for this yeah. group of young players. But they have lost more games now in this World Cup cycle than they did in the last. They're up to four. They are not as good. I don't. I, there's a lot of talk about them this being their best team ever. I don't think it's it's as good as the team that was there four years ago. I think the players that have retired, they've replaced them with very talented players. But there's nowhere near the same level of experience and leadership in there that McCaw and Carter. You know, uh, Nanu and all these players uh, brought to the table. They're still the best team in the world, but I do think they're a little bit more vulnerable. When it, it's, it's that black jersey, it's not a huge amount of vulnerability. But I think on if a team brings uh, their best to the table, if one of the best teams in the world brings their best to the table, I think New Zealand can be beaten. You probably need Bowden Barrett to miss a few kicks, but he's more than capable of doing that. He lost them in line series, missing kicks last year, mm-hmm. and he's lost them a test at home in, in the same venue um, in Wellington. So, just little chinks to, to the to the World Cup ri- rivals that um, if you get it right on the day against them and a few things go against them, you have a, you do have a shot. I, I think nine times out of ten they win that game. The stats are incredibly in their favour. Mm-hmm. They butchered a load of chances. They handed South Africa a couple of tries, but you know it's a bit of oxygen in the lungs for everyone else, and maybe a bit worryingly for Ireland. A bit of a lot of oxygen in South Africa's lungs, given they're probably going to be Ireland's World Cup quarter final opponents in a year's time.